Pretty much not white anymore. So that's cool. Welcome back to the channel. The rainy season has begun. It's early August and it should rain for most of the month of August from what we've been told. But we're gonna collar the dogs up, take them for a run by the side by side because I really want to do a little bit of collecting. There's some rose hips ready down the road, I think, and a bunch of yarrow that I'd like to get some and start drying. I should have done it on some sunny days, but here we are. Garden update, so I'm gonna do a little bit here. This is the bucket with two potatoes, one potato, onions, are looking really good and happy. The pepper plant that I am not optimistic about actually does have some flowers, like it might give me some peppers, but now that it's so cold, it got a little happier with the heat and now we're cold again, so I doubt it. Carrots honestly might be ready to harvest. They're pretty tall. Not really sure. This is my lemon bomb. I don't know if you remember what that looks like when I got it, but this is just amazing. So I think I will, uh oh, we got some mildewy crap going on here. Oh Lord, that's gross. Okay, we'll figure that out, even though it's happy. That's good to know. I'm gonna clip some of this today. Oh, it smells so lemony. And make some like lemon vinegar. I found a recipe online for it. Rhubarb is going crazy. We've got a couple of upset leaves in there. I can honestly probably harvest some of that. Not, I don't know a ton about all this. <laughs> but it's pretty big and happy. Strawberries are pretty happy, except it's really weird and bulgy. So I'm gonna be Googling why it's doing that. But otherwise lots of flowers, so hopefully lots of strawberries. But it did grow quite a bit since I got it, so everything's pretty happy. You ready to collar up some doggos? Yeah. How do you like this rain? Oh, yeah, it's been too hot, huh? Are you excited, Gus? Oh yeah! Who knows what that collar means? <laughs> we need to unload this firewood first, probably. This is our firewood shed. We're working on getting her filled up. We've already got a couple, probably three more layers than it had when we got here. But we're gonna fill her to the brim before winter and then probably keep going really. <laughs> Two cabins to heat even though one is small. Gus, he's been chasing an ermine around in there. He has not got it. The ermine has outsmarted him. Blueberries should be getting pretty ripe soon. That'll be exciting, but I don't want to pick those until they're ready. We found some, but they were all pretty tart. So we're gonna be doing a lot of picking. I know Levi's mom wants to do a lot of jellies. I'd like to do some jellies and just really experiment with some canning and what all we can find in the woods here too keep and preserve and make stuff out of because there's a lot of berries here. The rainy season does not disappoint. I actually kind of like it. I know I won't like it by the end of the month. It's refreshing. Ready Bolt? Ready? Good example of a rose hip that's not ready. Not yet, Bolt. Not yet. <laughs> this is our yarrow that we're getting. 
getting. Further up the road, there's uh, like some bright pink yarrow that I really want to get to, but I'm not gonna make the dogs run that far. So we'll just get this stuff. I'm gonna take some of this. I'm pretty sure that's the clover. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this because I'm pretty sure that's a clover and there's stuff you can do with it too. I forgot my book. I should have brought my book. that's good. I gotta dry it. Good luck in this weather. Did you want to look in the creek while we're here? Yeah, if you want. You got a whole bunch. Oh yeah, I do see it. That's a pink. Yeah. Yeah, I see the hunt and everything. <laughs> for silver silver salmon yep there's a bunch of them keep seeing them can't catch any how they won't go for the hooks for the lures yeah. everything we've tried yeah. they have no interest so we're just gonna keep trying hope something changes in their pattern and they start having an interest like these mosquitoes have in my face. They're biting me. <laughs> Once they've already bit you, you might as well let them fill up so they won't bite you again. That is flawed. Flawed logic. It's gonna itch anyway. No. I think that's a pretty good bundle. Got a couple little clovers. Let's see if we can find some rose hips. We're out here looking for yarrow. And what else? Rose hips. Rose hips. I almost said oh, that parsnip thing. <laughs> Rose hips. Found some dead alder, and we're constantly looking for dead alder. In the event we ever catch any more fish, then we'll have it for smoking. And come to find out, I think alder is a pretty hardy tree, plant, bush thing. Because there's really not very much dead, but we found a dead one here, so we're going to cut it up. Swimming? <laughs> I think you're gonna go swimming. <laughs> Hi, Bolts. You're kind of wet too, but you're not dirty. That's is dirty. Okay, I guess we just wanted the big stuff. So, got that so that it can be easily peeled, dry, and smoker, huh? Yep. Very awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna... looking. Just that small stuff. By the time you get the bark and the moss and the mushrooms off of it, you're really not left with anything to burn. I can't find the rose hips that I thought were ready. So I'm just gonna leave them. It's probably too early anyway. And it was only like one bush that I thought I saw. So we'll wait a little while, maybe a couple weeks, week or two, and see how they do.
if I thought you'd stay dry and dry you off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's get the goods. I want to fill this pint mason jar about three quarters of the way. I don't know. I think I just want the leaves. Mosquitoes are bad today. Matter I'm just extra sensitive today, which is possible. Get a little cleaned up in here. It's not very bright. I'll have to get some better light bulbs this winter. We got a fillet table. It's kind of just been gathering crap, so make some room. <laughs> our canned pink salmon, and then this is our canned sockeye red salmon. Got them upside down. It was a nice little test to make sure none of the seals are bad and they all seem good so we won't make them sit like that forever. They need to go upstairs till we're ready to try some. Lighting's way better over here. I also got these for when baby comes, Nora's Nursery. They are cloth diapers. I'm really excited to try them. I know that's gross to some people but when we're gonna have to snow machine in and out this winter and I'm due in December. These are gonna be important. So, pretty excited to try them. I think I have to wash them a few times before I use them. Came in a biodegradable bag, that's kind of cool. We'll test them out, give you some reviews on them. This is like the woodsy batch. I'm gonna be getting a lot more. There's seven in here. I'm gonna need quite a few more than that, but should save us money in the long run. I think they average like 10 bucks per diaper, but they should last through multiple kids and pretty, pretty stoked to try them. This is our fish fillet table. It's going to double as our kitchen sink. Right there. This winter. And then kind of just a kitchen table counter. It's gonna be a tight squeeze in here, but I am still really excited to be in here. Wood stove is gonna make all the difference this winter and it's just gonna be nice and cozy, I think. It's gonna be tight, but I live in a camper. I've lived in a camper for a year now, so it's nothing new. It feels so fancy. Like I have a cooking channel or something. As always, <laughs> before I share what I'm doing here, I'm not giving advice. I am learning as I go. If you want to learn as you go with me, awesome. I'm not a professional. The lemon balm that I just cut, I think I'm going to pull it out and cut them up a little bit smaller because the recipe I saw said, really I said to chop them with a knife, but I don't have a knife in here. This is like for kind of all-purpose cleaner, a little natural, just the kind of fun stuff I've been wanting to do up here. I consider this fun. Got that all chopped up and it kind of looks nice and fluffy in there. And all I'm going to do is fill the jar with vinegar. And I think you let it sit for, ooh, that shrunk down a lot. That's okay. Let it sit for two to three weeks. Um, it's, wow, that looks so cool. I don't know how well that can be seen from over here. That's really satisfying. Uh, one of the recipes I read did say not to use the metal lid. It's all I have. Um, I think the vinegar might corrode it. This clover, I'm gonna grab my book. I don't remember what I can do with it. I think I'm just gonna set it up to dry and unless my book says otherwise, it's probably not enough to do anything with, but kind of smells good and it's pretty. I'm just kind of doing this to learn as I go, just like with everything else. But yarrow, especially, I believe the leaves are really good for blood clotting and you can make teas and all kinds of stuff out of the flowers. What I'm gonna do is bundle it a bit, hang it up to dry in here and just kind of keep an eye on it. And once it's dry, I'll probably have put leaves in one jar and flowers in the other jar and just let it stay 
nice and dry in there. I might figure out a better way or let me know if you know a better way to store it. We have lots of big plans going on. I am going to get like a fabric raised bed off of Amazon that I can take with me to my next property. So they're like six foot by three foot and I think it's like 15 bucks each, which isn't bad at all. Even if we do have property, we'll be living here come early spring. Um, and I can just start a garden here, but I can take the raised beds to my property and just have something super ready to go. We don't have property found yet. We have been searching high and low. We sent some letters out based on the plat maps that we have out here. We're gonna send out some more plat map letters. I think I've got like 45 properties listed to get a letter from us. So those people, I know I've heard a lot of people say they actually bought property that way by sending a letter to the owners and saying, hey, you wanna sell? So we're working right now discussing on what the water system will be this winter. That's still up in the air. And mainly just getting ready for winter time. We're doing everything we can to really just focus on what are we gonna need this winter. Really stockpiled food, firewood, shelters figured out. Thank goodness so many people come up here without a place to stay in the winter. And I'm just really grateful that we have a place to stay. I'm excited about this. I think what I'm gonna do is get these ready to hang tied up and everything. And then I'm gonna bring my laundry line inside because sunny days are over anyway. And I'll need it in here anyway. And I'll just put them on a clothes pin. I also did the clover. <laughs> I, I don't think it's enough to do anything with, but I think it's cute. We'll wrap it up there. Everything's hanging and drying. The lemon balm is infusing. We really enjoyed some time out in the rain. The dogs certainly enjoyed it. I'll give them some time to dry off as well and We'll see you guys next time in Homer, Alaska, doing some fishing. Thank you so much as always for watching. We appreciate every single viewer. It's amazing how many amazing comments we get and we just can't say thank you enough. <laughs>